for the record. Yeah, Gedeke. Gedeke, okay. Yep. And I saw somewhere in a little interview clip, you call yourself a glass eater on the field. What does that mean to you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just uh, I really see myself as a guy who's a mean, nasty, a relentless guy out there on the field, uh, always looking to bury guys and just put fear into their eyes. That's really uh, my mentality. I try and play with a field demeanor. I'm just really a nasty guy. Uh, Luke, congratulations. Uh, this is a, a franchise that has drafted and developed linemen that weren't at prominent uh, programs. What does that mean to you? And going through the process, what did you learn about the history of, of the offensive line here? Uh, yeah, I mean, just, uh, just yeah, like um, can literally come from anywhere. And like where you come from, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, the saying, it doesn't matter how you start, it's how you finish like that really holds true like going to a great franchise who has developed top line offensive linemen throughout the many years and just looking forward to getting work getting to work Luke take us through your journey I mean you walk on at Wisconsin Stevens Point as a tight end I mean just you imagine yourself and what what it's taken for you to get here and, and make it to this level yeah I mean yeah it's taking uh hours upon hours of commitment. I feel like my work ethic is second to none. I mean, like you said, I started out at D3 school, had no recruitment process out of high school. So just had to find a way at the end of the day and just bust my tail and then uh, ended up um, sending my, made a clip or cut ups of myself and asked for a walk on opportunity from central Michigan. And they, uh, at that, they had me out there for a tour. And at the end of it, they, uh, they all ended up offering me a full scholarship. So and then just worked my tail off at Central and developed uh, from tight end into offensive line and just uh, developed into who I am today, and now I'm a Buccaneer. Luke, who do you model your game, your, model your game after? And also the Bucks had a small-time, small, time, small uh, college player by the name of Ali Marpet. Is that a player that you kind of get inspiration from? Um, yeah, I mean, like us small, like smaller school guys. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I feel like we play with a, with a chip on our shoulder at the end of the day. I mean, uh, he's definitely an inspiration. I really like to model my game around. Like, I really like watching Braden Smith a lot, uh, right tackle for the Colts. Just like watching his hand usage. And then, uh, Zach Martin as well for the Cowboys. I really like watching him. I mean, just the carnage he creates every play, just taking it two guys. I mean, there's not too many plays where he's not throwing guys onto the ground. So, Luke, what I ask you about moving inside, the, the Bucks probably need you more at guard. I think it's probably your projection. What, what's the key to that transition and handling yourself inside in the pros? Yeah, inside, I mean, uh, things just happen quicker. So, um, got, uh, movement happens quicker. I mean, you're, the guy's only a, uh, like a yard, a yard away from you. So, just got to train your eyes better pass off twists and everything and just be really quick and uh, and really good with your technique. We got, a, I think, a former team makers down here in Sean Murphy Bunting. You guys would have overlapped in 18, like your first year on campus there? Yeah, yeah. So uh, my first year, yeah, Sean was uh, – he played at Central as well. He um, was a great player. I, I, was, uh, I was a scout team player at that point. So I was uh, trying to bust my tail uh, against the starting defense. So I didn't see him too much, but – uh, out on the field, but I do remember him. I mean, he was a great player, great leader, great all-around guy. Luke, what stood out for you among your first interactions or all your interactions with Bucks coaches? Um, just like what really stood out to me was kind of uh, kind of the culture that I could feel when I had interactions with all their coaches and everything. I could tell, like, just their culture was like a winning culture. I mean – Super, uh, super down to earth guys, super uh, honest and just uh, want to win a championship and will do uh, do whatever it takes to uh, accomplish. That. And that's that's right. Uh, that's right. Right where I sit with my uh, football values as well. Luke, how tough was it when you first transitioned from a tight end to an offensive lineman? And in what ways did it help? when you made that transition in terms of, I would assume footwork was probably one of the first things. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely a different transition. I mean, you're, uh, you're, you're essentially have to go as back as fast backwards as you can while someone's running as fast as they can forward. Whereas tight end was always going forward. So, I mean, that was probably the hardest transition for me. And yeah, like you said, just footwork wise, it was, uh, I mean, I've always been, I've always been athletic. So that, uh, footwork wise, it's, I mean, there was still some stuff I had to learn, but I just did drills like religiously just, uh, improve my footwork and athleticism. So Luke, you said you had no recruiting process coming out of high school. Were, were you undersized? Were you hurt? Why was that? Yeah, I would say I kind of just underdeveloped. Like I kind of, kind of was a late bloomer if you'll say if, if if I had to be honest with you I mean really kind of developed uh that summer year um after high school I also played at a really small high school about 350 kids total like we had bring your tractor to school day and stuff like so it wasn't like there was a bunch of college coaches running to go to Valders Wisconsin by any means but regardless I I wasn't anything to hoot and holler about anyways so Luke, Luke, the Bucks' other second round pick is 285 now, but he was 220 when he went to college. How big were you when you graduated high school, when you went to college? Yeah, when I graduated high school, I was about 220 as well, actually. So, yeah, Thanks, just uh, put on the weight over the years. All right. How about this surreal? You get the block for Tom Brady. What is that? I mean, his career is old as you are, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just about. Um, um, throughout this process, everyone always asks you, like, who's your dream team? And uh, I was like, uh, to be honest with you, the whole time I was like, oh, I don't really have a dream team. But if I had to pick one team, it would be the Buccaneers because, I mean, just their winning, uh, their winning, um, winning, their winning culture they have. And as well as that with Tom Brady, I mean, growing up. So I grew up in Wisconsin, obviously. So I had to root for the Packers somewhat. But I, to be honest with you, I like pay the Patriots more because of Tom Brady so this is like a dream come true for me that's all we got for you Luke thanks for taking time yeah absolutely take care thank you guys